welcome back to my channel you guys i just want to share with you all what i received in my january's uh boxy charm box um i'm sharing it now because i this is the only time i really had been able to sit down and share it with you guys so i have the pretty Vogue undercover concealer which is a lightweight gel serum uh concealer formerly to be hydrating buildable and provides medium coverage with a natural flawless finish infused with vitamin e and i'm not gonna even jack that word up <laughs> to keep the skin moisturized and to rejuvenate and improve the skin's appearance now i've never owned anything like concealer wise um by pretty vulgar but i can i'm definitely interested in trying this and seeing what it can do for my skin and i actually can use it as a highlighter it's more of a light medium uh shade which i can probably see myself using uh, I'm super excited to try it. I've received their highlighters in, in you know, previous boxy charms, but I've never um, used their concealer, and I've also received eyeshadow palettes as well in the boxy charm. Um, the next item I have is the Skin and Company Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gummage, which is a polishing micro exfoliating truffle. And it says it's a delicate exfoliant cream with a rich texture. I'm sorry, I can't, you probably can't see. And soothing fragrance. Uh, Truffle Therapy Face Gummage is a lush formula combining the best of the iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and a luxury, luxury Italian spa experience. A beauty cabinet staple, the Truffle Therapy Face Gummage features sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and our unique and exclusive black winter truffle extract, which has a high concentration of superoxide dismut dismutase. I'm excited to try this because I do love exfoliants and nice facial cleaners and you know moisturizers into in you know a good skincare product, especially after wearing makeup um, to keep my skin you know uh, free and clean for the next application of makeup so i'm super excited to try this scrub and it's actually a big ounce of it is five ounces most scrubs are like one to two ounces so that's a pretty good size i have next i have the petite and pretty fully feathered volumizing mascara which i've never owned anything from petite and pretty and this is it here um but i'm i'm glad it's in my box and it says that it's a mascara that adds Instant thickness and definition is a quick drying formula, locks and curl, while the custom petite sized hourglass applicator is designed to lay it on thick and separate lash by lash for a full feather fringe. So, let's see. Oh, this is what the actual wand looks like, and it's really, really thick um, in the tube, so I'm, I'm going to try it. I like mascaras. I don't really buy a whole lot of mascaras only because um, we're always getting mascaras in BoxyCharm, which is a plus. So I don't really have to purchase them. But I, um, I've never used anything in this brand before, the Petite and Pretty brand. But I have seen it. I see now it's at Ulta. So this is a good thing to have because, I, like I said, I've never, never had anything in my collection. Or I don't have anything in my collection in this brand. The next thing I have is the um glow recipe the watermelon glow sleeping mask which is in this um glass jar here it's a nice luxury jar um and it says that the watermelon glow sleeping mask is a bouncy breathable sleeping mask that soothes and perfects skin overnight this pillow proof formula acts as a radiance boosting face mask formulated with soothing amino acid rich watermelon extract hydrating hydro hydronic acid and pore refining wow uh ahhs and not while you sleep to gently exfoliate and clarify okay now i've been seeing a lot of reviews you know on this mask so i was super super excited when they put it into the boxy charm box i've never tried this before but i've seen it all over the internet well youtube rather um and reviews on it. it smells really good too sorry oh it smells so light 
and it's like that really light, fresh watermelon. It's like that, not like that overbearing watermelon. It's really nice. Can't wait to use it. Um, but I am excited about this product in the box. So far, I'm actually excited about this, everything that's in this box. Only because I've never had anything in my collection like this. And I think it's really a good, good box. Now, the last item is I received was the Ace Beauté eyeshadow palette. Uh, it says this eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are reminiscent to the beautiful sunrises and sunset witnessed in various locations around the world. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. Now, um, I believe, I believe this is the only Ace Beauté palette that I own in my collection. Um, I used this palette today prior to filming this um, this uh, unboxing and I loved the application. I love the application. Um, these are some nice, nice colors. At first I was like, I don't know, I have a lot of colors in my collection like this. But the formula on here is like really, really smooth. I didn't have any trouble blending. I didn't have any trouble building. You know, any any of that uh, sort of thing. Uh, I used the colors Sunset Rose, which is this color. I used the color Crimson, which is right next to it. Uh, I used the color Aruba and the color Maui. Um, and also I knew, used Nocturnal, which is this color here. And on my lower lash line, I used Bahamas, which is this pink color. Now, I will do swatches on this palette because I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I think they had the, maybe like a another another um, palette from Ace Beauté, but this is the one that I received. So I guess I'll go ahead and do some swatches before I wrap this video up. Um... Sorry guys, so I don't want to mess up my bracelet, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, so you have Sunset Rose. It's kind of light on here. And then you have Crimson. I'm bad at swatches right now. And then you have Shade. And then you have Nocturnal. Okay, so they're kind of light, but the formula is really good. The second row. You have Aruba. And then you have Hibiscus. And then you have Lotus. That's really, really light. And then you have Bahamas. And the last row. You have Maui. And then you have Pink Moon. And then you have Aurora. And then you have Sangria. Okay, so these are all of the shades in the palette, which I think are really, really pretty. Let's pull a close up so you can see. Um, my swatching is probably not as good as the formula is on the eye, but this is all of the shades I like I said I enjoyed the palette I think it's a beautiful palette um, if you're not subscribed to BoxyCharm I think you should if you're into subscription boxes and want to try uh, different products um, in one subscription and you know I, I like it because some of the items and brands such as the foliating scrub um, the mask and things of that nature I have not seen in any local beauty store in my area so that's why i'm so 
excited about when I receive my box of charm because I'm getting items that I cannot get my hands on locally where I am and it's a good way for me to try different products um, for one price you get four to five full size items for $25 which is a bang for your buck so that's why I love it so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me um, and I look forward to many more unboxing and I'm actually trying to my best to get into this tutorial thing with my camera that I received for Christmas um, so just be patient and um, I, I think this, I really appreciate um, the, the support that I have received so far on here and I forward, look forward to continuing with moving my channel so again I thank you for watching if you would like subscribe uh, become one of my fams on here <laughs> and stay tuned to more videos thank you